you may have a broken clutch safety switch if your bike does these three things one the engine power gets cut at around 9000 rpm and it looks something like this two your auto blipper does not work since that switch is broken i cannot auto blip i can upshift quick shifter works but i cannot uh and three your cruise control does not work it does not work so cruise control doesn't work without the safety switch okay so the clutch safety switch is under here this is what it is and the most common thing to break is this what this is is a pin that goes in here and is compressed every time the clutch is released so what that this does is it recognizes the position of the clutch when you compress the clutch this is released and when you release the clutch it presses this inside to recognize the position of the clutch this is what breaks usually over here this plastic thing if this is what broke then you do not need to replace the entire thing if you need to replace the entire safety um, clutch as uh, the safety switch including the wire it's a bigger job because you actually have to remove the entire front fairing to get underneath the dash to connect this wire luckily for me and probably for most of you this is what breaks just this part over here and this is what we're going to be replacing this front part okay the first thing we have to remove is the clutch lever and we're gonna start with the clutch adjuster we need to bring this as close as possible to release uh, all the tension from the clutch to make it easier that's all the way to the front once we do that the next thing is we have to remove this nut underneath which is a 10 millimeter we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket for it This is out, this is a 10 millimeter. And then we have to remove from the top here, this paint keeps it in place. That's the second thing. And then always remember when we remove the clots underneath here, there is a spacer over here. That because we have the lube inside, it won't drop. So we're good here to remove this. Okay. Now with the adjuster, I'm gonna align this opening here from the clutch adjuster. There we go. So we can remove the entire thing and also we can remove it from here. Put this in the side and start removing the uh, base of the clutch lever. Okay, now we're gonna use an eight millimeter to remove this bolt, the clutch lever base. Okay, once it's loose enough, we can twist it around in this room, I'm gonna show you where the safety switch goes in. Okay. This goes underneath here. Inside. Here. 
then once it's twisted underneath, it comes out of here. And this is where the clutch compresses with this over here. Presses this switch in here. So I'm going to replace just the front part of the switch. See here two, one, two, three, four um, tabs here that we have to unclick and remove to uh, install the replacement. Okay, one more time so you know exactly where it goes. It's in here. And this is the replacement part. I replace this over here. See the difference? So we're broke. This is what we're gonna replace over here. Okay. Now, I'm gonna use a pick and try to pry this up with sides there. almost out there you go see I don't mind if I damage this part because I'm replacing this just have to be careful not to damage this um, from the thing that protrudes it keeps it in place that's the most important part now let's try the same for here See, this is out over here. Okay. Okay, this is what the kit comes with. This is where you're gonna have the kit. The plastic thing that breaks, the pin, the spring, and the two uh, uh, nuts that you have to use to secure it in place. I'll show you later how you do this. So we have to use the spring, two pins, to insert it in here first before we install it there. Okay, these three parts, this golden pin, the spring will go in here and this on top of it. And we'll have to insert this from underneath in there. The reason for that is it has a safety part that this does not drop. So no matter what happens, this does not drop. That's why you have to insert this first. And once you insert this in place, without dropping it, you have to insert it here. And this pin pushes this actuator over here. So let's insert this in place carefully so we don't break the plastic. Turn around, make sure you're in place, position, and then push it in. Now we're good. Make sure that it's clicked on all four spots. One, two, three, four. And this is the reason this breaks because this is made of plastic. And when you remove your clots, it's so easy to accidentally push this in the side and just break it. So we're good with that. You can test the actuator, you can hear it click. So we're good to insert it in. Okay, next step would be to place it in here. And through this hole over here, 
This is where the actuator is gonna come out from. Placing it in there. Go slow with this because there you go, it came out from here. Now you're gonna push it all the way out there until the threads come off from here. And then push it until you see this part here. This um, plastic thing here, this has to come out, see, all the way in. When you see this part, then you're in position. The next thing would be to insert the two um, nuts in place. One. the second one the second one is the safety so it doesn't come loose we're gonna use a wrench to tighten them a little bit in place I'm gonna bring the wrench okay so these two are 10 millimeter we're gonna need a 10 millimeter for this and you shouldn't apply too much force because it is plastic. You really don't want to break this. It's almost twisted. You shouldn't feel much force. Okay, once you feel a little bit of resistance, that's pretty much enough tightness because it's plastic. Then if you test it with your hand, you can't even unscrew it with your hand. That means it's pretty tight as it is. So it's good to go. We test it, actually it works. So now we're gonna place that back in position. We're gonna tighten this and then reinsert the clots. We have to make sure when we reinsert the cuts level lever to not break this again. So this is how it actually works. When the clutch lever is in, it actuates it here. So when you release the clutch, it's compressed, and when you push the clutch in, it's decompressed. This is how it recognizes the position of the clutch. Now the problem is a lot of times, and probably is what I did, when you remove the lever you tend to forget about this being here and when you put it in and twist it you come here and you do this and you can break it very easy so always be careful when you replace uh, levers mind this always so let's go ahead and uh, reinstall these okay now that this is in place we're going to tighten the clutch lever base Just enough so it doesn't move because we have to reinsert the clots and then adjust this again so you don't have to over tighten this because we're going to have to adjust it later so just tighten this just enough and then let's go insert the clots lever so you can start with this and insert it here twist it there you go. You can have align it over here. One, two, three, and now we have to add the spacer. 
Okay, we're gonna add the spacer here. And again, remember, when you reinsert it, what's out for the actuator? Insert the pin from the top. There you go. Insert the ten millimeter nut underneath. to tighten it. Remember when you tighten your, your clutch cable, don't tighten too much that it pushes it all the way here. Always make sure there's a tiny gap when the clutch is released, it's just right there. Because if it pulls it all the way in, you might have issues with your uh, quick shifter and auto blipper. So just always leave some uh, gap over there. We're gonna fine tune it later. But for now, this looks good. All right, guys, a very simple fix and we're good to go. I just want to clarify one thing. This repair only applies if this is what broke. Okay, if the entire safety switch broke, this does not apply to it. This part is very cheap. Um, I'd say about six, seven dollars. I think I paid about $15 with shipping. Uh, it's very cost effective to repair. Now, if your entire safety switch needs to be repaired, or I mean, replaced, that means that your entire front fairing needs to be removed, okay? That falls under, I'd say, probably a two hour job. Um, the reason I'm mentioning this is because I did have um, some reports from other riders that the dealer charged them about $400 for the repair I just did. Uh, again, to clarify it, it probably falls under a two hour job if the entire safety switch needs to be replaced, okay? Uh, safety switch is about, I'd say $70, $80. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how much, it's around that price. So including the price with tax, and I would say an average of 140 to 150 an hour, uh, that's dollars. Uh, I could see the $400 for the entire, entire repair. Um, completely justified, I understand why. But if this is the only thing that broke, um, yes, it will cost you less than $20 and this is how you can repair it on your own. Now, I hope this helped you. Uh, if it did break or you did break it accidentally, don't feel bad about it. I know sometimes uh, guys have broken this by low siding uh, and the clutch broke it or by replacing the clutch lever. Um, hopefully this, this repair helped you uh, repair it on your own and uh, save some money. Uh, if you like this video guys hit a like um, also i would love it if you want to subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot uh, making more videos uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one